morning, everybody. We're going to play some cards today. So, uh, for the new people on here, cards. Uh, so, you, you can't can't blame me for the exercises you do. It's uh, your fate's in the hands of the cards. So, these cards all have a picture. Probably can't see it through the camera there. have exercises on them. And so, I'm going to flip them over. And I'll do the exercises. And you follow along with me. So uh, we have dumbbell exercises, plyometrics, which is cardio, uh, kettlebell, and then yoga. So we're going to go through each card, each set, uh, 45 seconds of work. We're going to do 15 seconds rest. So just follow along with me. And uh, so grab your dumbbells because uh, the first exercise is going to be dumbbell back row. And when I hit the timer... You'll be doing back rows like this. If you have a weight machine or bands, you're going to do back rows with your machines or bands. You pick dumbbells, your cable machine, or bands. Grab your weights. I'm hitting the timer. Ready? And let's go. So 45 seconds of back rows. Stay in a squat. Turn your palms forward as you row. And squeeze your shoulder blades. Bend these knees so these quads and glutes are working. Always sucking your belly button in. If you're using bands or a cable, just stand and do your back rows or dumbbells, whatever you got. Squeeze them. Keep looking up. Keep your head up. That's it. Seven seconds. That's it. Make sure your uh, mic is off. All right, next card is slalom hops. So we're just gonna jump in place. So our cardio is doing this. Just hops, or you can hop side to side. If your knees don't like hops, just do squats. Forty-five seconds. Keep looking up. Pull it out, back flat. Remember, you can walk, jog, or run in place. If your knees don't like any of the cardio stuff, your default is walk, jog, or run in place. Nice small hop. Again, walk, jog, or run. All right, rest. Okay, kettlebells. Doesn't matter if you have, don't have kettlebells. You can do the same thing with dumbbells. So it's a high pull. It's down like this, up to the ceiling. The dumbbell, up to the ceiling. You can do the same thing with a cable, with a band. Since it's a one side exercise, when it beeps, Rest for 15, switch arms. Keep looking up, keep watching me so your back doesn't round. There's some calf raises in there too, why not? Up on your toes, more muscles you work, faster you get in shape, more calories you burn. That's it. Squatting down, elbow up, push to the ceiling. 15 rest, do a little quad stretch. Always take time to stretch them out. Switch sides, squatting down, up on your toes, push to the ceiling. If you don't have the ceiling height, just do a row like this. If you don't have the ceiling height, up over. Flat back, elbow leads the way, elbow comes down last. That's it. Always sucking it in, elbow leads the way, like you're pulling your pants up over your head. That weight skims your body. So side view, elbow stays, weight stays right next to you. It's an upright row to a shoulder press. 
All right, we got yoga next. Yoga. All right, revolving chair. Feet close, hands together. Right elbow outside of left knee. Look that way. 45 seconds. Right elbow on the outside of left knee. Stretching the hip and the back out. Look straight at that wall. Every time you exhale, dip a little deeper into the stretch. Try to square your shoulder to the wall you're looking at. The side view is like this. I'm looking right over my hands. Five seconds. All right, shake them out. We're switching sides. Couple deep breaths. All right, hands together. Left elbow outside of right knee if you can. Looking straight over your folded hands. Square yourself to that wall. I feel this mainly in my hip. A little bit of hands, a little back. Breathe deep. Stretch out those hams, low back and hips. Square your shoulders best you can to that wall you're looking at. Five more seconds. Back to dumbbells, leg curls. So that's dumbbell between your feet, up and down like this, crossing your toes. You can do ball leg curls or straight leg deadlifts instead. You pick your hamstring. So dumbbell leg curls, a little harder version is in a kneeling plank like this, which I prefer to do. More muscles, the better. So dumbbell leg curl or ball leg curl laying on your back, pulling the ball up to your butt or straight leg deadlift with a calf raise. Those are your three options. Don't bring your heel all the way up because then the tension comes off your hams. It's kind of come halfway up. So you feel those hams working. If you can do it in a kneeling plank, even better. All right, on the next one. All right, we got push-ups here. So body weight, toes are harder, knees are easier. And let's throw some hip extensions in there. So push-up, hip extension. Push-up, hip extension. Let's get those glutes working with everything else. Down and up, kick. Leg straight, kick to the ceiling. You can do them on your knees, makes it easier. Or if you can't, if you tire out, just hold a plank while you do the hip extensions. Push up with the hip extensions. All right, good set. Next is a swing, kettlebell swing. Again, you can use dumbbells, a heavier dumbbell, the same thing. That's just holding it long ways. You're squatting, forehead level. So that weight's up and down, vertically, squatting down, forehead level. Squeeze your butt as you lean back, as you swing. A backward butt squeeze. Throw those hips forward. Here's what the side view looks like. Like you're doing limbo up top. Hips come in. Hit that butt squeeze.
Nice set. All right, we are back to yoga. Sun God. Feet wide, toes out. Palms face the ceiling. Down on the squat. Suck your belly button in. You have a book on the top of your head. Think perfect posture. Deeper your squat, the harder it is. If you're standing tall, you're not getting much out of it. Get those quads working. Push your knees apart so you get an adductor stretch. Push your knees out. Breathe deep. Push those knees out. Good. You could probably think your uh, TV glitched up and froze on you. All right, back to dumbbells. We are on lunges or stationary lunges or squats to all your modifications. I know some people have bad knees. If you have bad knees, wall sits. If you don't, you can do your lunges. Let's go lunge curls. So wall sits, if you have bad knees, lunges, if you got good knees. Stay nice and tall. Don't let that front knee go over your toe. That's it. Remember, book on top of your head. If you're leaning forward coming down, that book's going to come right off your head. So keep your trunk as perpendicular as you can to the floor. There you go. Good. I have body weight. Ha. More squats. No weights though. We'll go squat calf raise. So it's squat up calf raise. Squat. No weights here. So go faster to make it easier. So you people with bad knees, just hold a squat like this or a wall sit. You can do calf raises while you do an isometric squat. If you got good knees, give me the squats. With a calf raise, let's reach to the ceiling. Working more muscles. Look it up, up on your toes, hips come forward, butt squeeze, calf raise, shoulder press over the head. If it's easy, go faster. Nice. All right, kettlebells, handle push-up. That's just too awkward on the palms of your hands. We're just going regular push-ups. Push-ups with hip extensions, of course. Regular push-ups are too easy. So on your knees is easier. On your toes is harder. If you tire out, just hold a plank while you do the hip extensions. That's it, keep working. Abs tight. Squeeze that butt as you raise it. You gotta drop to your knees, go ahead. All right, we are on to yoga. All right, thread the needle. Love this one for the back. So on your back, cross your leg. Right over left, right arm goes through the hole. Grab the leg. So you rock it back and forth. So right over left, the right arm goes through the hole. Interlock your fingers, head back on the floor if you can. And slowly rock that leg back and forth while you push your elbow into your thigh to give you a little more of a hip stretch. So one side card, so we'll stay right here. We'll sit up and stretch hamstrings for 15 seconds. And then go to the other side. All right, everybody sit up, 
straight legs, reach for those toes dynamically. Touch those toes, come on back. Straight legs, touch those toes. As soon as it beeps, we're going left over right leg. All right, left over right leg. Left arm reaches through the hole like this. If your knee doesn't like this, you can lower your, your cross leg down more on your shin. Or you can just do it by itself, pull it up like this. You gotta work around those limitations. Head on the floor, stretch that hip out. Pull it up higher and higher as you warm up. Back up, we're back to dumbbells again. Uh, actually, grab your dumbbell, sit back down. We got Russian twists. So hold in one dumbbell or no dumbbells, depending on your back. If your back doesn't like this, just do sit-ups. Russian twists. Comfortable twist. Try to get your shoulder to midline of your body. The more you lean back, the harder it is. The more you sit up straight, the easier it is. If you're tipping backwards, put a weight between your feet. That'll help hold you down or toes under a piece of equipment. Breathe deep, nice twist side to side. And if it's easy, your two options are go heavy or go faster. Gotta get something out of it. Don't get up this early in the morning for nothing. Get something out of it. Nice work, all right, we're on the, uh, let me see, uh, different dumbbells. So, we got hip drops, side plank. So we're doing this, the modifier for this one, bottom knee bent is easier. Bottom knee bent is your easy version, harder is your straight legs, hip drops, so bend your bottom knee to make it easier. So trunk nice and straight, look down at your spine, nice and straight, your butt's not sticking out, your head's not hanging down to the ground. Pretend you're a metal pole, lay it on an angle, a little flex in the middle. You guys are like steel. Come on, seven seconds of this misery, keep them going. All right, 15 rests, switch sides. So remember, bottom knee bent like this is easier. A hand down on the ground is even easier. So straight leg is harder, all different variations with this. So straight legs, look down at your toes, make sure your spine's nice and straight, heads up in the air. If you're on just your straight legs, you tie her up, put a hand down to help you out or bend that bottom knee, make it even easier. Sucking it in. Make sure your butt's not sticking out, look down at your toes, make sure your spine's straight. Your head's up in the air, watching your screen. So the side of your neck stays strong. We don't want any pencil necks here. Come on. Suck it in, abs tight. Good. Come on. All right, next one, kettlebells, uh, tricep extensions. Come on up, grab a weight or a cable or a band behind your head doing these. Let's throw a calf raise in it. Elbows close together up on your toes as you push to the ceiling. If you don't have the ceiling height, you can do a kickback instead. If you don't have the ceiling height, but you have a weight in both hands. Up on those toes, suck your belly button in, squeeze your butt. Nice deep stretch up to the ceiling. All the way down deep as you can, keep those elbows in. Stretch those triceps. Touch your spine with the weight if you can. Stretch them all the way up, lock them out. Keep them behind your head. 
All right, so down, yoga. Oh, you got tabletops. So tabletops are fingers forward like this, hips up. Your modifier is a weight on your hips and just hold a bridge if you can't do tabletops. Here's your modifier. Here's your actual exercise, fingertips forward. Head up, look at the ceiling, squeeze your butt. Hands wider is easier on your shoulders. The opposite is true with closer. It's a good shoulder stretch. Try not to sag down in the middle. Try not to be a broken tabletop. So squeeze your butt really hard the whole time to get your hips up in the air. Head back to stare up at your ceiling. Check out some of the cobwebs that you have hanging down. Let down. All right. We got sit-ups. Actually, yeah, we'll do sit-ups. I'm going out of order. Sit-ups or crunches. If you can't do sit-ups, do crunches. Weight between your feet if you're top-heavy like I am. There you go. Steps too hard, just do your ab crunches. Keep going. All right. Dumbbell. Uh. We got T pose. This is on your stomach. It's the top one. Use a light weight or no weight. You're on your stomach, flapping your wings like this with your knees in the air. It's a short range of motion and a genetically weaker muscle group. Use light weights or no weights with this. We'll start with weights, drop to no weight. Again, trying to bring your knees up off the ground as you raise your hands. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your shoulder blades. And you grip your butt, your lower back, upper back. And keep your head off the ground and see how fresh that carpet is. How's that smelling? You might not do good. Come on. Squeeze those shoulder blades, squeeze your butt. Squeeze them, squeeze them. All right. Ah. That's 22 sets done already. So grab a drink. Stretch out whatever muscles are working. That last one, my lower back is tight, glutes. Little hamstring stretch are always good to do. So while you're resting, grab a sip. Little ham stretch, little quad stretch. These are main muscle groups that affect your back. If hams are tight, hip flexors and quads are tight, it tilts your pelvis forward, puts a lot of strain in your lower back. And one more for posture, chest stretch, back chest stretch. This gets your mid back, this gets your chest and shoulders. So back slaps, little backward lean. Squeeze them. All right, it's enough rest for you. We don't get in shape resting. So our next one is a hollow rock. I'll demonstrate before I turn the button on. So hollow rock, it's you know, like this. Your arms are overhead and you're just kind of, it's a little rock. So you're up on your, your lower back, shoulder blades, lower back. So your hands stay over your head like you're gonna dive. That's a hollow rock harder than it looks. All right, muscle heads, you guys ready? Get set and go, hollow rocks. So arms stay overhead, you go on your lower back to upper back. Just a short range of motion. Hands stay over the head. Good work for the back, I mean the abs. 
because it's harder than it looks. Looks like a little bit of a reverse crunch and an upper ab crunch. It works the whole ab sheet. You'll see as you get tired, you can bring your hands up to help you out a little bit. So try to keep them over the head. Good set. All right, kettlebells. Clean and jerk. So this is squatting down, up overhead. Yeah, we kind of did the last one like that too. Squat, clean and press with a calf raise. I mixed a bunch of different decks together, so there's gonna be some redundancy with these. Down together, explode up, up on your toes. Don't let go of that weight overhead. I don't wanna come and fix your ceiling. Upright row to a press to a calf raise. If your knees don't like this, just kind of do a straight leg clean and press. So a straight leg is better for your knees. It's a slight bend. All right, 15 second rest. Little shoulder stretch. All right, switch the sides. Ready, go. Keep looking up. Keep that back flat. Up quick, down slow. Give me that calf raise. Palms face you as you cold, pull them up. Upright row to a press. So if you don't like to squat, your leg's a little straighter like this which more of a hamstring, straight leg deadlift, clean and press. So your knees are bent a little bit, it's targeting ham's butt and back, as opposed to the squat. Work around your limitations. Nice. All right, next one, we got yoga. The eagle, oh, I can't do that. All right, we got bridge, but we're doing a little weight. On your back, as much weight as you can on your hips. Hold the bridge, squeeze your butt. Stack a bunch of weights on your hips. Toes up in the air, drive your heels in the ground, squeeze your butt really hard. Throw a few dumbbells on, load them up. Breathe them deep. Come on, squeeze them. Drive your hips to the ceiling. If your butt's not burning yet, you gotta go heavier or push up higher and squeeze harder. All right, back to dumbbells. Side plank raise, oh, with weight. So modifier, bottom knee bent is easier. Both legs straight is harder with weight on the hip. If you can, hip straight, look down at your toes. Make sure your spine is nice and straight. The body likes to cheat and bend at the waist so your butt's sticking out. No head hanging down. If you can't do the dip part, just hold it statically. Breathe deep. Push that bottom leg into the floor. Crunch those abs, those obliques that are facing the floor. Come on, bend that bottom knee to make it easier if you need to. So your bottom knee's on the floor. All right, switch sides. So your bottom knee bent's gonna be like this. Your bottom knee is on the floor. Shorter lever arm makes it easier. Straight leg, look at your toes, spine straight, shoulder right over your elbow, down and up. Look at your hips, make sure they're not sticking out. Your head's not hanging down. Crunch those abs that are facing the floor. Get those obliques and those hips working.
Do what you can here. If you gotta bend your bottom knee to finish up, go ahead, you got 10 seconds left. Hips straight, no butt sticking out. But thank God that's over. All right, the next one. More push-ups, but wide grip. So hands wide for push-ups. So on your knees, on your toes, either way, you got those some hip extensions in there. Push up, kick. Push up, kick. And my knees are easier. Keep your abs tight here, like tuck your pelvis in. Support that spine, squeeze your butt. Wide hands, hands real wide apart. Works chest more. Don't let your head hang down. Always have spine neutral. Head up in the air. Nice set, guys. Good work. Back to dumbbells. Sit up press. So you can put a weight between your feet. You can hold one weight. Sit up overhead. Put your toes underneath something for leverage. Shoulder press push up. Or just do a crunch bench press. Modifier is this. Crunch bench press is the easy version. Full sit up, but the shoulder press is harder. Do what you can. We start with the tough ones, and then go down to the bench press crunches. All right, good work, yoga. Triangle, front toe straight, back toe at an L, hand on your shin, and arm straight to the ceiling. So palm face is the same way as your face. Hang down, so legs are straight, like you're holding a broomstick from one hand to the other. Arms should be perpendicular to the ground. You don't wanna be hanging down like this. You may think your arms up to the ceiling, but look at it, is it down or is it straight up? Legs straight, heads are still in the air, looking the same way your hand is facing. So my palm is facing the same way that I'm looking. Keeping that arm back. Don't want to come to the front, pull that arm back for a chest stretch. Pull it back, pull it back, all right, switch. Switching sides, other toes straight ahead, back foot's on an L, on your shin, top hand, his palm is facing the same way you're looking, but pull it back so you get a chest stretch. Don't let it hang forward, don't let it hang down, straight to the ceiling and back. Suck your belly button in, let your hand slide further down on your front leg. A little more of an adductor and ham stretch. Peek at that hand, make sure it's pointing straight to the ceiling and not coming down or not dropping forward. Keep it straight up and back. Back to the wall behind you. Feel a stretch in your sh uh, shoulder at the top. Legs straight as you can. All right, back to dumbbells. Bicep curls to armpits. All right. You know bicep curls are useless, so we have to throw a squat bicep calf raise in there. So squat calf raise, weights to your armpits. If your knees don't like this, just stay in a squat, calf raise, dumbbells to your armpits like this. Minimal knee movement here. Calf raise, flex your thighs, weights to your armpits. The rest of us, squat, calf raise, curl, Stuff your weights into your armpits. Pull your elbows back. Touch the weight in your armpit. And up, nice squat, calf raise, curl. 
squat, calf raise, curl. That's it. I want to keep them going. Down, throw them up. All right, good. Next one, we got hip ups. That's right, so on your back, hands on your side, push feet to the ceiling. Modifier is knees bent, reverse crunch. This is your easy version. Harder version is leg straight, push to the ceiling, push down to the floor with your hands, up as high as you can on your back. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can. Those tight hamstrings make them want to bend. Push in the floor with your hands. A little extra leverage. All right. Back to dumbbells. I'm sorry, kettlebells. Uh, we're going to go half Turkish get-ups. So that's like this. So leg up. We're going half right to here. Going back down. Weight and right. Throw your leg down. Push in the floor. Come back slow. Push in the floor. These are half Turkish get-ups. That forearm stays perpendicular to the ceiling. Palms face in. Like you're shaking hands. Opposite leg throws down, pushing the floor with your arm or your hand. Don't let that arm fall forward like this. Keep it up. Arm stays perpendicular to the floor. Palms face in. All right, get your breather. Switching sides. So if the weight's in your left hand, you're throwing your right leg down. So weight's in my left hand, my right leg's up, arm stays perpendicular, throw the right leg down, push to the floor, arm straight to the ceiling. Don't let your arm fall forward like this, keep it back. As you sit up, that dumbbell comes right over the top of your head. Right over the top of your head. You shouldn't see the dumbbell when you come up. Closing your eyes doesn't count. Nice work on the yoga. Warrior two. Front toe straight, sorry, front toe, knee bent, back leg straight, palms face the ground. So it's a lunge for the front leg. Back leg locked out, back toe faces your video. Look at your back arm, make sure it's not down like this. We only need bent warriors. Like you're holding a broomstick. Looking straight over your front arm, bend his front knee. Straighten that back leg. Suck that belly button in. Keep that back arm up. It's going to want to drop. It's saying, I'm not being looked at. I'm going to cheat and drop. Keep it up. Bend that front knee more if you can. All right, shake them out. Little delt stretch. Pull them across. Switching legs, front toe straight, front knee bent, back leg straight, toe face the TV, arms parallel to the ground. Looking straight over your front arm, bend that front knee like a lunge, lock your back leg out. If you're holding a broomstick, make sure that back arm is not dropping down to here. Keep it up. Bend that front knee. As usual, suck that belly button in. Pretending at the beach, you're not going to go to for a long time. 
Breathe deep. Keep them up. Bend that front knee more if you can. Keep that knee right over your ankle, though. Don't let that knee go over your toe in the front. Lock that back leg. All right, back to dumbbells. Calf raise. With a weight. So one calf raise like this. Up on your toe. But we got to make it harder. Let's do a, a squat. Calf raise, shrug. Both feet down. Calf raise, shrug. Squatting down. Calf raise, shrug. Up on your toe. Calf raise, shrug. So it's weights in one arm. Of the leg you're doing the calf raise on. Squat down. Up on your toe. Shrug your shoulder to your ear. Good. Deep squat. Butt out. Back flat. Side view. Butt out. Back flat. Way up on that toe. Shrug that shoulder to your ear. Look how boring it would be just doing a, a calf raise. So this, this is way more fun. A little neck stretch. Stretch those traps, those neck muscles out. Switch arms, switch legs. Both feet down in the squat. Calf raise, shrug. Squat, calf raise, shrug. You can bring your arm up for balance if you need to. Calf raise, shrug. Squat, one leg calf raise. In other words, calf raise on one leg. One leg, the shrug. Two leg squat, one leg calf raise. If your knees don't like this, just do the calf raise part. Small squat, calf raise, shrug. Nice set. All right. We are on to um, kickbacks. So mule kicks. Put a dumbbell behind your knee. Squeeze it. Doing these. Mule kicks. Hold that weight with your knee. Let's get a little core in here. Let's go to kneeling plank hip extension. So hips forward is harder. Butt back is easier. So hips forward. Squeeze that butt the whole time. So hips forward is going to bring some core into it. That's it. Squeeze that weight. Drive your heel to the ceiling. Suck that belly button in. Don't want your stomach hang down. Suck it in. Squeeze your butt super hard. If it's not burning, you got to go faster. Or go heavier. Or you're just in way better shape than I am. Alright. Move that weight. Sit back. Stretch it out a little bit. Little child's pose stretch. Switch your legs with the weight. All right, leaning forward brings in the core. But back like this is easier. Takes core out of it. Easy doesn't work. You don't get in shape doing it easy. Squeeze that weight. Drive that heel to the ceiling. Squeeze your butt the whole time. How high can you push that heel to the ceiling? I'm going to suck that belly button in. Keep those hips forward, more core. Keep them going. Come on. Squeeze that butt. Get it burning. If it's easy, go faster. All right. Sit back real quick. Stretch that one out. Hey, uh, let's finish this last one with uh, push-up hip extensions. Last one for the day. Push-up on your knees with an alternate hip extension. If you got any left in you, toe push-ups with a hip extension. Keeping that head up. Any push-up you do, do not let your head hang down. So it's your last one for the day. You're done after this. Give me at least all you got on one set. Come on. 
Come on. Keep working. Five seconds. You got this. Come on. One more. One more. All right. Sit back. A little child's pose stretch. I'll pause the timer. We've got to finish up with the child's pose cobra stretch. Let's end with a couple of stretches. Looking up. Twist side to side. Bend your knee to the side you look to. So if you look left, bring your left knee out a little bit. Push your right hip down. Look to your left. Bring your left knee out. All right, child's pose stretch. Sitting back on your heels if you can. Uh, rub your face on the floor. Take a big whiff and try to look at your toes. Use your hands to pull your side to side. Stretch that lower back and the hips out. Use your hands to pull you as far as you can to the side. Let's do a hip flexor stretch now. Big step forward. Uh, head up and try to drive your hip forward. For better visual, I'll show you this way. Big step. That this, drive your hip forward. So you're going to stretch hip flexors and quads. Arch back. A few deep breaths. Switch legs. Big step out. So your knee is over your ankle, not your toe. Arch back. Let that back hip push forward for hip flexor stretch. This will help your back. Or prevent your back injuries. All right, guys, girls, we're done. Good job. Uh, check 10 o'clock Saturday and Sunday. Register if you're coming. Thanks. Everybody have a good one. Bye-bye.